Illusion Mo Motion. <laughs> How y'all doing? Listen, y'all, the podcast listeners are already up to 300. So go ahead and start sharing this on YouTube. Uh, y'all podcast people, y'all saw Springfield and thought y'all would jump in here, right? So uh, come on, y'all, in YouTube, get some, start uh, hitting that thumbs up button that starts the algorithm going. So let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. If you don't know the exact link to get them there, let them know it's www.youtube.com backslash Gail Dudley. What's up, Deborah Johnson? Good morning to you. What's up, Shirley Nicholson? Good morning to you. Uh, what's up, Adrian? How are you doing this morning, sister? Shardinia, good morning to you. Now, we have way more than that. So y'all come on in here. Let me know what's happening on this Thursday morning. This is our town hall Thursday, y'all. Today is Thursday, September 26, 2024. We have an amazing guest who I cannot wait until uh, he comes on and share with us. I see my brother in here. Y'all, that's my biological brother, Louis Pryor III. What's up? How's that post office treating you with all that's going on with all the uh, uh, absentee ballots and all that? Regina Shorts, what's up? Good morning to you. Okay, y'all, it's Town Hall Thursday. Y'all know the rules. Once you all stop asking questions, the segment is over. And I'm sure you have a lot of questions for uh, Dr. Harrison when he comes in here. But until then, let's have some fun real quick on this Thursday morning. Let's get ourselves walking up here. You had to pick one. You had to pick one. Would that be a blizzard, an earthquake, a hurricane, category four or higher, or tornado? You have to pick one. Go ahead and put that in the chat. Would you prefer to be in a blizzard, an earthquake, a hurricane, that's category four or higher, or tornado? Come on, y'all, put that in the chat. Let me know what you prefer. Again, that's a blizzard, an earthquake. A hurricane, category four or higher, or tornado. Deborah Johnson said blizzard. I'm with you, sister. I'm not doing anything else. I'm with you. I say blizzard too. Come on, y'all. There's more of y'all in here. Let's put that in there. Again, blizzard, earthquake, hurricane. That's a category four or higher, or tornado. All right, y'all. Give me your comments in the chat. Those of you who are on audio, keep your eyes on the road. Y'all can come in here and hang out with us later. Uh, Shirley Nicholson says uh, blizzard. Deborah says I I will have the fireplace going. That's what I'm talking about. My brother Louis Pryor III said blizzard. Listen, I think that's all of us that that experiences all four seasons. We're like blizzard anytime. Blizzard, blizzard, blizzard. The reason why I asked the question, because as, as you all know, this is hurricane season. Regina Short says blizzard with the fireplace and a pot of chili. You had to go to the food. That's what I'm talking about. Jackie, what's up? Good morning to you. Jackie, they're just answering the question. Is it going to be a blizzard, an earthquake, a hurricane, category four or higher, or tornado? Lee, what's up? She says blizzard. See, we all, I know where all of us live. We in the blizzard section. I got it. I got it. I got it. Y'all, the reason why I'm sharing that, um, speaking of hurricanes, fast-moving Hurricane Helene was advancing um, uh, yesterday, early this morning, actually, across the Gulf of Mexico towards Florida, threatening storm surge in northwestern parts of the state, as well as damaging winds, rain, and flash floods hundreds of miles inland across much of the southeastern U.S. Uh, these are the things that the forecasters are sharing. Helene is expected to be a major hurricane, meaning a category three or higher when it makes landfall on Florida's northwest coast sometime this evening. I see you, Marion Jackson. As of early Thursday, hurricane warnings and flash flood warnings extended far beyond the coast up into south central Georgia. The governors of Florida, Georgia, and the Carolinas have declared emergencies in their state. I want y'all to know they are they are forecasting that Helene uh, will be one of the uh, will join the three largest since 1988. Uh, that would be um, Irma from 2017, Wilma from 2005, and Opal uh, from 1995. 
And they're saying Helena's already have that strength and they don't see it going anywhere before then. I see you, Judy Neal. Good morning. Uh, Judy and uh, uh, Marion, they're answering, would they prefer a blizzard, an earthquake, a hurricane, or a tornado? And you can only pick one. I also shared this this morning because I was supposed to be leaving on my way to Atlanta. And my daughter was like, Mom, you still coming, right? And I was like, uh, have you seen your governor? And she says, oh, Mama. She goes, I got water and I got uh, some snacks. I ain't trying to sit there and be with you in the dark. No, we ain't doing that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. They, they're predicting that the power will be out for 72 hours. And then, of course, her dad said, you know, it's more to it than her just wanting you to come. There's more to it. And I said, I'll think about it. But then Delta's like, I don't think you're going anywhere. I was like, yes, Delta. But anyway, so that's what's happening. I thought it was very interesting. Okay, I see you, Judy Blizzard. I thought it was very interesting. Um that you know people think we can just fly i've been in two hurricanes one was major which was hurricane francis during a conference uh good morning davia good morning davia so yeah that's why i asked y'all a question you can only pick one blizzard earthquake hurricane or tornado and so uh dominic if you're watching i ain't coming this weekend girl you're gonna be okay so anyway, so she was like, Mom, are you still coming? Did you see the news? Your governor declared a state of emergency. I think I'm going to stay right here in the comfort of my home. All right, y'all, other headline news. Davia said blizzard too. Y'all know where we all from. We're like, give me the blizzard. Okay, y'all, listen. New York uh, City Mayor Eric Adams indicted on federal charges and campaign finance case. This story is still unfolding. They believe that um, the documents will be open later on today. Right now, they're still sealed. Uh, Y'all are coming in with this blizzard. Rosanna says blizzard. Adrian says blizzard. But yuck. Uh, Dr. Antoinette said blizzard. Hey, I'm with you. I'm with you. So y'all, the uh, person who spoke on the condition um, uh, to discuss ongoing investigation, the indictment was not public. Again, they are hoping it will be unsealed today. And they're saying that the charges are based on lies and they were just targeting him. We don't know. We'll see. I see you, Tracy. Let me good morning to you. Also, y'all, real quick before I get to our town hall meeting, don't forget the rules. When you stop asking questions, the segment is over. And trust me, you want to hear, you want to hear from Dr. Kevin Harrison today. I'm telling you, you want to hear from him. Yes, Tracy knew me. Uh, 938 flights have been canceled so far. Now, I don't want to cancel my flight going to Atlanta because I want them to just give me my money back. Like when it's an act like this, you got to pay me my money back. I know the rules. And if I cancel it, it will just become um, an a e-ticket or whatever. So I got my papers over here later on. Hey, what's up, Cheryl? I got my papers over here later on to call Chase Sapphire, like uh, travel department, how you going to help me out? But I'm sure Delta will cancel it, so I'm good. All right, y'all, Arizona, Arizona. There's some shenanigans going on. Is Kim Edmondson in here? There are some shenanigans going on. Absentee ballot instructions for Arizona. Please pay attention. I'm begging you. If you know anybody that's in Arizona, tell them to make sure they check out this segment or go to their Secretary of State's office to get this information. Y'all, this is in collaboration with the Lincoln Project. Um, again, I told y'all, News in Motion Lincoln Project are doing some things together. Um, so here it is, Arizona absentee ballot instructions. Make sure you are registered to vote by October the 7th, which means y'all do it today. Do it tomorrow. Uh, the first is on Tuesday. Don't wait. Don't wait till the 7th, y'all. Make sure you have this done before October the 1st, uh, October the 1st although your date is the 7th. Apply for absentee ballots online or pick up application in person at your local election office. They are now saying, don't wait for it to come in the mail. Okay, Arizonians, listen, go pick up your absentee ballot from your local election office. So even if one comes in the mail later, remember this happening here in Ohio, just set the second one aside, don't shred it, don't destroy it, don't throw it away. So to have proof and put on the top of it, just write on the envelope, this is my second ballot. I already have one and turned it in. So y'all, please, please, please go to your uh, local election office in Arizona to pick it up. Fill out and sign and date. They're saying there's people who are signing, but they're not putting a date on it. You have to put the date on it. On this application and submit online or return by mail or in person 
by 5 p.m. on October 25th. Y'all, that's just way too much. So sign it. As soon as you get it, sign it. Listen, if you are at the local election office to pick it up, open it up, go to your car, go find a quiet place, complete it, take it back up there, make sure they stamp it while you're in their presence and give you a receipt for it. Okay, come on, y'all. We got to be smart here. Take the time to do this right. Don't wait until October 25th And if you live in Arizona. Now, some local election office will also allow you to fax uh, the uh, application, but then they're telling you to call and confirm that the fax has been received. Don't do that. Just go take it. Just take it. Okay, y'all? Let's get beyond this quick and easy microwave society. Y'all, This is the. these are the elections. Just take it. Just take it. Once received in Arizona, carefully follow the ballot instructions. Again, sign and date. They're saying people are not dating these things. Okay. Now, you also have to have your authentic signatures or it may be rejected. So you're probably saying, well, because I do this when I go to elections. Your signature has to closely match that signature from your initial uh, voter registration form. I know you're saying, I don't remember what that looks like and our signature changes. Listen, can you you say, can I see my last signature so I can remember, you know, and then sign it, do whatever you need to do. Your completed ballot must be received via mail at the address and returned uh, or the return env envelope or placed in a nearby drop box. Y'all, come on, we don't have time for these shenanigans here. Deborah Johnson says, we have to check our registration to make sure it's up to date. Yes. I now check mine daily. Y'all think that's crazy? People are being purged every day. So check it. So y'all, um, uh, they're saying that all signs point to another election margin that is far narrower. Uh, so it's especially important to have a specific plan for casting your vote. We talked about a lot with the vote plan uh, yesterday. We'll talk more about it next week. Absentee voting is an easy, convenient way to vote. They're saying push that if you can in Arizona. They're saying, please, whatever you do, follow the directions. All right, y'all, one more story before we... What's up, Lori Jones? Uh, Lori, Lori Jones. Woo, Lori Williams Wallace. I'm thinking of Lori Jones because I talked to her yesterday on the phone. Uh, and then Leah says, we knew there would be shenanigans. There's already shenanigans. Uh, there was a couple places where they had to stop the... Um, online voting uh the uh absentee ballots because they left vice president kamala harris's name off of it dr antoinette said they're doing the most they are doing the most all right y'all real quick and i gotta get to dr harrison because this is gonna be great all right don't forget y'all have the rules for town hall meeting you stop asking questions the segment is over all right y'all i don't know we in movies or what i, I don't get it I know Los Angeles is where a lot of uh, celebrities are, but y'all, there was a Los Angeles bus hijacking. All I could think of was uh, uh, that that movie where the bus goes out of control. Uh, I can't think of the name of it. Y'all know what it is. And I'm thinking, is this for real? Y'all, a gunman is in custody after carrying out a Metro bus hijacking in Los Angeles, California, killing one person. Person. Officers have not yet named the suspect or identified a motive. Y'all, yesterday at 12.45 a.m. local time, their time, police responded to reports of a bus hijacking on, in South Los Angeles. Officials says the bus driver pressed a panic button after the suspect, I'm not laughing at that, but just like, I'm like, is this a movie? Uh, after the suspect began pointing his gun at passengers, the button triggered a sign on the bus exterior flashing emergency and 911 called police. A police car chase lasted for over an hour with the driver held at gunpoint and officers using uh, spike strips.